Hello! Welcome everybody to today's Wednesday broadcast of Baldur's Gate. I'm uh, broadcasting a bit later today than I was anticipating for a variety of reasons. I was up late uh, helping somebody get to the airport. Uh, then there was a bunch of stuff around the house that I had to do. Then I actually spent some time tinkering with my Twitch settings a little bit. It's going to take some time. It's been many years since I was live on Twitch, and now that I'm back, uh, I have a lot of settings to have to sift through. So expect some growing pains on Twitch as I try to re-navigate this particular uh, broadcasting platform. But yeah, I made some changes. I hope I'm got it, I've got everything right. And anyway, we're live, and the idea is that I'm going to broadcast for... Well, almost four hours. I'm going to aim to end by five my time, and that's about four hours away. So that's the plan, everybody. Should still get in a good full four-hour broadcast. If you missed the last episode, I encourage you to go check that out. We, I mean, we didn't really progress far. <laughs> we, I take that back. We finished exploring the Underdark. We explored most of the Underdark, and then we took a boat, and the boat ride took a, a great percentage of our broadcast because chat got Gale killed. I'm not owning that one. I would not have gotten Gale killed. Despite the glitch, and apparently there was a weird glitch, chat got Gale killed because they they wanted Gale to hop into the ocean, which he did. On a moving boat. Instant death. That's on you. That's not on me. Anyway, we managed to get him resurrected, so we're all good to go. Anyway, it's great to see everybody on uh, Twitch today. Riz, Rizzleman, Meg Vox, Geralt the Lumps God, 200 Angel, Green Beans, uh, Tammy, and I can't read that because you've got a dark blue color on the name there against a dark background. Mogster, Tammy Nater, Tammy Nater. All right, I see it. Good to see all of you, and it's good to see everybody on Facebook today, uh, including Toby Noble, and of course, it's wonderful to be live on YouTube with all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. Sean Fernando, first in chat, Tony J, Cat5, Julian Z, uh, Rachel, Clell Biggs, Naka Michael, Mr. Jock T, Sean Fernando, and it's that one dude, Mark Two, with the first super chat of the day, says, time for me to join the stream at a random time as always. Anyway, hey, Ox, hope you had a good Halloween. Thank you, that one dude, Mark Two, and you, sir, happen to be joining right at the beginning. That's right, I've had a late start to my day. I've got one coffee in me, and I'm almost done with the second This is my morning, even though it's the afternoon. But we're all here together, ready for another broadcast, and that's what's important. Pavel, with a super chat on YouTube, says, I didn't mean old man skill. I just admire your spontaneity to play a game based on complex Dungeons and Dragons rules without even looking at them. Personally, he says, I spend over 10 hours studying the Baldur's Gate 3 wiki and planning how to progress each character. And, and me, the, this old man gamer, it's not, it's not old man gaming, it's spontaneity. I'm a spontaneous gamer is what it is. I expect the unexpected. I provide moments of serendipity in life on the broadcast because I don't even bother to do my research before playing a game as advanced as Baldur's Gate based on such intricate and archaic Dungeons and Dragons rules. Well, Pavel, you compliment me, my friend, to such a degree that I almost blush in embarrassment. Uh, <laughs> but here we are uh, with the, this... Not old man gaming skills, but spontaneous gaming skills on full display for another day, another broadcast of Baldur's Gate. Motherly Rage in the Twitch chat today. Good to see you, Mogster. So good to see you on Twitch. Jared and Troy on Facebook. It's good to see everybody filing in there today.
Andrew Horn says, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 has really been pissing me off. I can't kill the goblin leaders the easy way because I chose to make my sorcerer an elf. Oh, are you saying that um, having an elf makes infiltrating the goblin camp a little bit more tricky? Well, we've got past that portion of the plot, and we are now into the Underdark, which is, is this what, Act 2? Are we on Act 2? I feel like it's been slow to progress here. Is this just because I'm trying to get absolutely everything, or maybe maybe my serendipitous gaming abilities are are, are bogging down the, ch the, 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 stream, the stream time? I don't know. <laughs> Tony J says, Oxhorn revealed lore dude that does not do his due research on games. Oh, there you go. That's the death knell for a lore dude. Hate for that to be me. Odd X says you're about two thirds of the way through Act One. Wow. This, this is a long act. Still act one, huh? Says Cat5. Jeez. This is a long act. I thought by, by, sh by now I'd surely be into act two at least, but no. Cat5 says you've got one more area to go through until act two. Oh, yikes. All right. Well, I know it's a later broadcast today. Thank uh, you all for joining. If you gotta leave, I totally understand. The video on demand will be available immediately after the broadcast ends, so you can always catch up on uh, YouTube and Twitch. And by the way, I think I said uh, in a previous broadcast that uh, one of the reasons I didn't like streaming on Twitch in the past was because they delete the VODs over time, and I think they've actually changed that. Um, I was uh, looking through my previous broadcasts from this week and last week, and uh, they were saving my VODs with no expiration, which is great. Which is different from Facebook, because Facebook still deletes the VODs, uh, sadly. And I spent a great amount of time organizing all my VODs into playlists on Facebook, only to discover halfway through that they were on a timer and they were all being deleted. Motherly Rage says, you're such a vibe. I am loving this. Your voice is so soothing. Well, thank you, Motherly Rage. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a vibe going on here. I mean, I'm cold, which is why I'm wearing the coat. I'm not doing this for style, even though it looks it. No, I recognize that. But no, this is less style and more practicality because it's cold here in the Pacific Northwest. I have my window open. Sorry for the stuttering there. Um, I think it'll turn green in just a second. So I have this new computer uh, backup software and it likes to back up my hard drive continuously. There we go, now we're back in the green. Things are good and I, fi I find that if I pause it before the broadcast starts, that I've got a solid green light on my monitor. Uh, the thing is, it likes to s start up on its own after like two or three hours. So I'm going to have to remember to go back and uh, pause it. If, it. if it starts buffering again, let me know and I'll pause my uploader here. But I think we're good now. Yeah, we've got a solid green. Anyway, yeah, it's, I've got my window open in my office because I'm smoking, right? I'm smoking in my office and I don't want smoke to get into the house. But that means that I have to suffer the brutal cold of a p Pacific Northwest winter. Or fall, I should say. I'm not quite into winter yet. So yes, uh, definitely a cool vibe, but also a practical one. Toby Noble on Facebook says, uh, want to hear a knock-knock joke? Sure. Knock-knock. Bark, 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 bark. No, no knock-knock. Bark, bark, bark. Why are you barking? I'm a dog, and someone is at the door. That, that, that's Toby Noble's... Knock knock joke for today. And I guess the joke is that after barking, which apparently confused the owner who was unaccustomed to hearing dogs bark, 
The dog then spoke perfect English. All right, cool. Thank you for that one, Toby Noble. Rum Monogold is in the chat. Good to see you, Rum Monogold. Mobster on Twitch says 49 down here in the part of Oregon I live in. Yeah. It's uh, it's going to be a cold one. Got a, got a broadcast in my coat here. Thankfully, I've got a cigar here to warm me up. Twa says, thoughts on GTA 6? I, I don't have a lot of them. Uh, so... For, he's alluding to an announcement that Rockstar Games had today where they officially announced um, GTA 6 Grand Theft Auto 6. Uh, they didn't drop a trailer or any images like that. They just basically went onto social media and confirmed that they were working on it. I think they said next month they're going to have some, uh, some videos to share. The thing is, I have never played a Grand Theft Auto game. I'm old enough to remember when the first Grand Theft Auto came out. In like 1997, or 1998, or something like that. And it was uh, an, an isometric, you know, camera in the sky looking straight down. You've got a little car, and you're, you're running around with your little man. You can just see the top of his head and then little legs kind of going like that underneath. And you, you get into cars and run people over. And I remember it made the news. When the first Grand Theft Auto game came out, it made the news and people were morally aghast by it. It was just an awful idea that you could play somebody who's stealing cars in a video game or whatever. But of course, the, the media hype and the outrage, the public outrage, um, made the company just... <laughs> it was the Streisand effect for the first uh, Grand Theft Auto game. But uh, still, I was never really interested in that kind of game. And uh, I've seen the trailers for all of the subsequent uh, uh, Rockstar games, uh, Grand Theft Auto games. And it's just never really been something I've been interested in. Uh, I remember when Grand Theft Auto 4 came out. I was working at Wii Game at the time, and it was huge news in the industry. And everyone in the office was playing it, and all of these memes were appearing on our website that we were sifting through. And uh, I would watch a few of them, and it was all right, but the gameplay mechanics and story just didn't appeal to me. Uh, that said, I absolutely loved Red Dead Redemption 2, and I had never played a Rockstar game before that. And if that's the level of storytelling that they do in a Grand Theft Auto game, then I'm just hurting myself by not playing the games. So, even though it doesn't really seem like it's my kind of game, I might try it out just because I love what Rockstar does. Desert Ranger Jesus says, love your channel. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Desert Ranger Jesus. Danny Baum on Facebook says, Hey, Ox. Hey there, Danny Baum. Good to see you. <laughs> Sean Fernando is talking about the cheat code to get the tank. Now I remember that. My friends would always, like I never played it, but my friends would play it and they would tell me about the secret cheat code. We would go to school. And they'd say, yeah, there's a cheat code. You can get a tank and run over pedestrians. This game is great. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Clell Big says, you'd love GTA 4 and probably like 5. They have great stories. Same caliber as Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, maybe I should give the franchise a chance. The Soviet Penguin is here on Twitch. Hi, Oxy says. Hi there, the Soviet Penguin. All right. Well, let's dive back into the world of Baldur's Gate and see exactly where we left off. Mordekaiser Mid on YouTube says, Hey Ox, do you still do smoke boats? Smoke boats? No. Now, I've never done a smoke boat. 
ships. Now, I've done smoke ships, but boats? What kind of pedestrian do you take me for? You expect a smoke dinghy from me next? Now, yes, I do blow into existence exquisite artistic masterpieces uh, that are smoke ships, but you know, it takes out it's such an enormous amount of energy from me that I don't do it quite as much as I, as I used to, and I certainly don't, don't do it on call. Or on demand, right? I, I gotta wait for the right inspiration. Usually it's when somebody has a birthday, so on and so forth. That's when I get the inspiration. Okay, my cigar is out again. Right, so we arrived at the lair of the dwarves. The dwarves who have been harassing the mushroom people. And uh, we killed a couple of guys when we came on the boat. Good thing you got me. You wouldn't survive a ten day on your own. Ten day. Assistant. I'll give you that. Are those guys semi-translucent? I feel like I can see right through them. Are they ghosts? Anyway, this is where we arrived, and uh, let's explore a little bit. We've got some deep Roth, Elder Roth, deep Roth calf. All right, we could use our animal whisperer skill to talk to them. We've got some skeletons over here, some uh, dead creatures. We could speak to undead, but I don't think we can raise the undead. Is this another ghost? Yeah, you can see right through it. Huh. I wonder why you can see through it. Render distances, says chat. Is that all that is? Is it a, uh, a rendering bug? Oh, there's another skeleton up there. All right, just getting a lay of the land before we start moving. I don't know what's going to attack me up here. And then that's going to bring us all the way over there, and that's as far as I can go. So how would I get down here? All right, I could just turn left up here. Some cages, but otherwise a dead end. That's probably going to be locked, but I might be able to pick it. And then another boat over here. Interesting. Right, well, let's go talk to the animals. One day I'll catch a break. Okay. New location discovered in the Underdark. The Grim Forge. Absolutely not. Oh, you'd be killing history itself. This again? Yes, this again. Trap disarm tool kit and some rope. I'll take that. Reinforcements, huh? Let's see how long you last. Reinforcements? Uh-oh. Are the dwarves under attack here? This place is hard to bear. I hope we're able to continue on our way before too long. How peculiar. Smooth face, cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. A sun dweller in these parts. 
Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. All right. Maybe I can help you on here. What are you doing exactly? Peering into cracks and crevices in hope to find history's morsels. I have come up regrettably short. I hope you might see truths where I cannot. A friendly welcome, a rarity in the Underdark. As rare as a smile in Shindlerin, you might say. But I've no skill for slaving. I prefer chisel to cane. But these learned eyes reach their limits, and so I must humbly request yours. Very polite. Fine. What should I be looking at? The rock. The rubble. All of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. Tell me what you see. And be thorough. Okay. Well, we have a number of... Um options here. I mean, if I'm taking a look at this scene, it looks like an elf. Like a destroyed elf. Alright, we could pass a history check to say, um, to assess the statue for technique and comp composition. We've got a plus one to intel from intelligence and a plus one from jack of all trades if we choose that option. We could try investigation to examine the fallen rubble. We have the exact same chance. We could pass a perception, which gives us plus three, to survey the area for unseen curiosities. We could pass a bard in history, which gives us an advantage in the roll to, to try and remember the tome Fables of Forges Grim. We could pass a bard deception, which gives us plus three from Charisma, plus one from Jack of All Trades, and plus three from Favorable Beginnings to say I know everything about this place. In fact, it was hand forged, hand forged by a flump called Grim. Oh dear. Well, I'm actually curious about the original real lore. So even though I have the greatest chance to pass this deception check, I'm going to try and pass the history check, which gives me two, but I also get advantage. Let's add a bonus. Guidance. Only got to pass a 10. There we go. Ooh. Might have overdone it there. You recall the tale of a Sharon fortress armed with impenetrable adamantine. A metal created by a gnomish mage. There were also whispers of the gnome's secret project, an invincible guardian, though its existence was never proven. Uh-oh. What do you think? All right, cool. So I can actually pass more of these. So after passing the bard check, we can now recite the tale we remember. Let's also see if we can pass the history check. Oh, man. Bomber. But I can roll again. There we go. The statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. Two styles, two eras. The statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress. Anything standing out? Interesting, all right. So an older fortress inhabited more recently. Let's pass a perception check to survey the area for unseen curiosities. Gotta pass a 20 though. No, 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 gotta pass a 10. And just. Uh... 
several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. Mm. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Okay. Well, we can say I'm ready to report my observations. And you have been thorough? Okay, hold on. I could use more time. As you need. I guess I'm curious as to why we have the investigation examine the fallen rubble again. How fascinating. I told my kinfolk that book learning has its benefits. A crafty gnome helping forge a fortress that would last an eon. Mythic metal atop stone hewn by the devoted. That's to say nothing of this tale of an invulnerable protector. It's unfortunate the Sharan's successors found no proof. Doesn't explain this infernal plate I found, though. Here. Take it. Perhaps you'll be able to figure out why it's here. But my work has only begun. There is more still to find. I must get to it. Okay, I guess that's about it. Um, I'd like to trade. Well, let's see what you've got. Let's see what he's got. Item received infernal alloy. Great. All right, he's got about six, uh, 600 uh, to barter with. I should probably sell some stuff. So I've got infernal iron, but this is infernal alloy. The ridges in this metal glow faintly, drawing your gaze. The longer you watch its, hell its, its hellish pulsations, the harder it is to remember who and where you are. Hmm. All right, this is 4.8 pounds. Do I really need that much thieves' tools? I need to save this for Gale in case he, um... My right, basic poison. Cut your weapon and poison. Eh. Effort. Hurl a flask of liquid fire. Okay, that's useful. Simple toxin. Cut your weapon and toxin. Eh. Alchemy pouch. Potions of healing, trap disarm. Gosh. Well, I don't really have any big things that are weighing me down. Ah, excellent choice. Now he needs to keep his robe. So we don't need that. And these are all the magical items that we're going to have to consume later. Uh, I mean, I have orc vision, so I don't need a torch to see anything. Leather helmet. If I put that on him, I'm ready. he's no longer going to be able to direct me. use his wizard armor, will he? Let's get on with it. Chain shirt, is that what she's wearing? No, she's got scale mail. Don't burn yourself. And she has the Githyanki plate. Steel 101 says, Ox, random question. You understood my deja vu joke with Andresia from yesterday night? I don't know if you caught the reference, Law. I read a lot of comments yesterday, so I don't quite remember Steel 101. I'm sorry, but I don't know if I can uh, I can answer your question. I don't quite remember the joke. 
All right, armor class 15, disadvantage on stealth checks. AC bonus from dexterity limited to plus two. Now, this is 15. Why am I wearing this then? I guess I don't understand why I chose to wear that. Can't afford to stay idle. That's also 15. All right, well, I think I'm done with the merchant for now. Let's hold him. Pleasure to meet a fellow actor. Okay, let's, um... Let's see here. 17, 13, 14, 12, 17, I mean, it looks awful. Oh, not proficient with heavy... With heavy armor? She's not proficient with heavy armor? That's why I'm not wearing it. Chain mail is a heavy armor. But apparently the Gith... Gith Yankee plate is a medium armor. Alright, so none of my characters are proficient with heavy armor. Not even my barbarian. Alright, I guess we gotta save that for uh, the Gith Yankee. Okay, we talked to Kith, I believe. I'll give you one thing. You've got a keen eye. Uh, even sharks have their uses. Who's the statue, you think? Human, certainly. A god, perhaps. Why would gnomes make such a thing? You're the expert. Why don't you tell me? All right. I just cast Speak to Animals. Tired. Sleep. Rest, little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. I heard his name whispered. The rock shivers from the sound. The Ketheric Thorm. Ketheric Thorm, a familiar name. Halsen mentioned his stronghold deep underground. Do you mean Ketheric Thorm, the Dark Justicar commander? Hmm. Mighty elf, cloaked in darkness. Ten masters ago, and ten more. But I remember there was the work and the blood. There was the Thorm's army. There was the Hell Beast that broke them. The Ketheric Thorm's name faded into stone until the near came. <clears throat> well, impressive memory. How old are you exactly? I outlived my mother and her mother's mother and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live. Cursed to see many die. What kind of hell beast could have destroyed Ketherick's army? I saw tusks and flesh. Smelled fire and eggs. It came with the masked men. Crashing and smashing. That was a long time ago. What does Nier have to do with Ketherick? I know not, so I say not. Yet I hear his name again, said by the shadows. 
Wow, I'm so glad we talked to the animal. We got some lore there, even though I don't quite understand it. And we got another guy over here. Deep Roth, Elder Roth, Deep Roth Calf. Hmm? Oh, are those two still talking? That's about it. Mark Humphreys on Facebook says, <clears throat> So the bartender calls last orders and looks at the drunken horse at the end of the bar and asks the horse, why the long face? The horse says, F off. I've heard that line before, but if you're, uh, but if you buddy now have the audacity to want to know what my problem with you is, all right, this is one of those, those long-winded jokes. Um, it's that you ride me to my limits as I help you win the Grand National and don't even buy me a beer before kicking me out after helping you win first place. That was an elaborate joke, uh, Mark. Thank you uh, for that contribution. I do appreciate it. Hunter says, Ox, have you seen the new teaser for Mass Effect? Yes, I have. And uh, the big N7 on the armor looked interesting, but I can't say that I recognize the mask or who it was. It looked like a woman who was walking in that promo, but she was wearing a mask, so I couldn't recognize it. All right, dead. Could we raise dead to speak with them? Quick save. Damaged dark Justicar armor, medium armor. Let's see, what have I got? Um, the air is ripe with magic. There's no time to waste. Turn undead. Pavel says, if you want someone who can wear heavy armor, use Withers to respec Shadowheart into War or Tempest subclass. Trickery subclass is considered a weak one. Oh, okay. I didn't know I could do that with Withers. Thank you. Um, revive a companion. Oh, I should have used that bestow curse. Let's right, so turn on dead does nothing. What's the story? All right, I don't think I have what I need unless Can't there's like a scroll. Now. Maybe I've got a scroll. Nope. All right. I was, I was hoping I could resurrect these guys and then talk to them, but I don't really see a way to do that with the abilities that I currently have. So we'll just loot the corpses and hope they don't rise up on their own. Dark Justicar Mail. Potion of Animal Speaking. Hey, Dark Justicar's Journal. Cycle 40. I know it's forbidden to enter the Inquisitor's chambers, but I could not help myself. Has Master Kethrick not commanded us to use every possible tool to best Char's rivals? Besides, if Sybil meant to keep the amulet a secret, she would have hidden it better. Cycle 40 and 2. The amulet has gifted me a power, an energy, heretofore unknown to me. I've never known such might and such cheer. I can barely keep myself from smiling, much to the other's chagrin. Sigh. Fun ha. I could. 
Ha! Ha 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 Cycle 40 and 5. It is done. Thank the Dark Lady. Sybil ripped the amulet from my throat and cast it into the lava, having found me racked by laughter. The madness has lifted, but I do not yet know my penance. Sybil is not known to take pity on thieves. Okay. As you look at the skeletons, you realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms. These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Shah worshippers, better off dead, we could say. That'll probably piss off our companion. Uh, we could say whatever killed them made an enemy of a powerful goddess or ominous. Let's not linger. Maybe if we choose this option, we can make her happy. Still, if whatever managed to murder a group of Sharans is still around, we had better watch our step. And that didn't make her happy. But it didn't piss her off either. All right, there's another body up here. Have to keep going. Scroll of Ray of Enfeeblement, more damaged, dark Justicar armor. I, I don't think I need all of this armor. Let's see. Um, she's currently got a 15. So if we give her the dark Justicar armor, it would suit her for lore, but it wouldn't really be better. While obscured by shadow, the wearer deals one to four necrotic <coughs> pardon me, damage to attackers that hit them with a melee attack. While obscured by shadow. Interesting. Well, I miss I, I lose out on two in terms of armor class. And it's also a rare item. But you know what? We'll keep this on her inventory for now. Right, he's nearly encumbered. It's probably because of this dark Justicar armor, but let's see if we can go sell it. Let's find that merchant uh, dwarf and, and sell this armor we just picked up. It's going to take a while because I'm encumbered. The past is nearer than we think. We simply must dig. Well, let's see what you've got. Okay. There we go. Scroll of Dark Vision. Invisibility, haste, hold person, lightning bolt, and scroll of speak with the dead. Grant a semblance of life to a humanoid corpse, allowing it to answer up to five questions. Single use. I want that. That's all then. Well, the question is, which one do we speak to? This one? This one? I believe this one had the better armor on it, so let's speak to that one. Okay, uh, where was it? Animal friendship. There. Oh, I've already got a lot of them. K 
can't target the undead. Oh, but... Oh. It doesn't work on the undead. That's a bummer. Okay. Well, we've got more in case we need it. Sturdy and locked. Just barely. God. Okay. Inside we find a light crossbow, a glaive, a sickle, and another light crossbow. I mean, we can sell it all. I know this design. Shah's faithful wield crossbows like these. Ooh, do they? She currently has a light crossbow plus one. This is a Sharan crossbow. Which has the exact same damage as the light crossbow plus one. Weapon enchantment plus one. Weapon enchantment plus one. Well, she worships Char, so let's give this to her. It's got the exact same stats. And then we can sell all the other stuff that we got that we don't need. Okay, so a bunch of Shar worshippers met their end here. Let's see. Destitute clothes. Casual sandals. Rags. I'm hoping to get some food. I need long rest stuff. More rags. Road clothes. A rotten carrot. Oh, great. Any food I find is going to be rotten. Of course. Hmm. Looks like there's a camp over here. On sloth, gluttony, and vice. Endure, endure, endure. So commands Lodiger the Taskmaster. Endure. Cry it out as your hammer strikes rock. Endure. Shout it as your axe splits your enemy's skulls. Endure. Holler as your cane strikes your slaves' backs. Toil is our duty and our blessing. Toil is the reward we grant our sons and servants. Yet beware the great enemy of toil, the scourge that wounds us and ours, the tankard. <laughs> it is not only ale that pours forth from it, but indolence, gluttony, and a wandering mind. The drunkard is a clan's millstone, too heavy to carry, too idle to contribute. Cast him into the dark lake, let him sink to the bottom, and once more call out, endure, endure, endure. What an awful philosophy. Backpack, hey. Now also we remember um, that we passed a check to learn that ooh, Chasm Creeper, that there's a, um, we read on that book that there's something in the lava. Look, there are chests down there. How do we find that? All right, let's go down here real quick, see if we can find anything.
Well, um... All right, let's disarm it. We're gonna add a bonus, Guidance. Yeah! My knock on Twitch says, "I hi everyone, I hope everyone is well. And Mazzy says, woof. I haven't seen you since Fallout 4. Thank you, My knock. Yeah, I've been streaming on YouTube, but I am back on Twitch now. It's good to be here. Identify on Twitch says, Hey, Ox, hope you're well. How was Baldur's Gate 3? Is it an okay entry point for a new player? I, I am a new player, and I find it really overwhelming. Uh, I don't know what's going on half the time. And yet I'm still having fun, and I'm still meandering my way through the game. I'm just about to complete Act 1. So, um, yeah, I'm a new player. I don't understand the world or the rules or the universe, and yet I'm still having a good time. Okay, we disarmed it. Let's see what's inside. Oh, now we gotta unlock it. We've gotta pass a 15. All right. And what do we get? Uh, the real sparkly sparks wall. A shield. Is that a shield? Cool. Well, that'll be good for our, our cleric. A grease bottle and an arrow of lightning. Cool. All right, she currently has the Absolute's Warboard. If the wielder bears the Absolute's brand, they gain a plus one bonus to saving throws, which she does not have. So she's not getting any bonus from that. This has uh, a lightning aura. And it's got a plus two to armor class, so this is overall better for her. We'll give her that. Nice. Okay, wow, check out the view. I mean, this game is gorgeous. Look at this huge place. Can we explore all of this? All right, I wonder if we'll be able to get that um, necklace in the lava, and I wonder where exactly it is. Okay, now to get out of here. Now, there are two more chests down there. You see that? There's a chest there, and a chest there, and a chest there. Three more chests. And yet, I don't... Oh, look at that. That's the way down. How do we get to there? The skeletons. Oh, it's right over there. Okay. Let's go get the loot. Now there is this room beyond. Okay, let's go trigger this scene and get this lore. Oh, it's a cave. All right, before we go get those chests, let's quick save up here and trigger this scene. You, grab a cane and whip these droogenin beasts into shape. 
That rubble needs clearing, and my patience is hanging on by an arse whisker. Shouldn't be trouble for a brute like you. <clears throat> because I do your own dirty work. Almost sounds like you're asking for help, if I ignore your tone. Or you want me to cane these poor beasts? Or we can pass a half-orc check to say a brute? Is that what you see? Sure as shit in. That orc blood makes you damn near feral. There's no denying the blood call, and there's no shame in it. Now go on, brute, and get these beasts moving. What's behind the rubble? You got no need to know, and I got no need to tell. So get to caning, or to leaving. We can pass a persuasion check to say... You want my help, then you will tell me what's back there. Got a pass of 15. We're going to add a bonus. Let's see. Charm person. Friends. Or guidance. Let's add guidance. And then we have to choose between friends or charm person. Let's try charm person. Let's do one for now. Well, a bit overkill. Just a bit. Uh, fine. Look at this. Adamantine. Stuff's no joke. Stronger than steel, rarer than mithril. It ain't mined. It's made. There's an adamantine forge back there, sure as shitting. Don't get any ah. smart ideas. That forge is clan property. But get the beasts moving and I'll toss some coin your way. An adamantine forge. Interesting. <clears throat> We could say thanks for the tip. Once you're dead, I'll have that forge to myself. We could say sounds like your problem. Figure it out yourself, or let's see what I can do. Go on then. Light a fire under the buggers. Surely I'm on the right track. Leaves, like on trees up on the surface. Oh, now he's got speak with the dead. What? Oh, there's Speak with the Dead. I was looking in the wrong menu. Oh, I've already got it active. Let's uh, talk with Deep Roth. No more. No more pain. No more work. All must die. We could hit Roth. We could say, what has you in such a state? Oh, death. Fire. I can it's smell it. it. It's too much. Too much anger. I can't I'm hold it in. Uh, then we've got three different persuasion checks. Breathe. Focus. If you strike, your masters will destroy the herd. You were made to serve. This is your meaning. Remove the rubble, as you were told. Give in to your rage and avenge your pain. Don't strike us all, just your masters. We can persuade them to kill the dwarves. Leaving the forge to us. <laughs> I did just quick save. Let's see what happens. That's a lot of bonuses. Yes, they made the pain. Now they feel it. All my companions approved of that. And the shark too. Oh crap. That put me in a battle. Oh no.
Is that going to be enough? It's not. Saved Pete's sake. Knockback flourish ranged attack? Oh. Right, because that could possibly throw an enemy off balance. High defense. Not enough movement. <laughs> Critical miss. Wow. Psionic backlash. There you go. Well, that knocked him down. Karlak, can you get over there? Can't reach destination. Why can't she reach the destination? That's going to knock him back into the wrong area. I want to <clears throat> I want to attack from this angle. Oh, no, I couldn't uh, knock off. Okay, well, uh, these are all of my additional abilities. Let's see if I can find a knockback ab uh, ability here. No. What? Did I not reach him? Huh. Well, I should have had that on him from the beginning. I'm gonna keep him back here, where he's in range. Can't give up.
35. 50. 55. Is it because I'm too low? Last 10 turns, curse. Ooh, whoa, lots of different curses. Charisma disadvantage. Oh, I have to choose. Constitution, dexterity. All right, I don't want to do that. Sacred flame, 60. 36. 40. All right, that's going to do... Uh, 1 to 16 damage, 3 to 10, 2 to 20. All right, let's just take it. Saved. God. Miss. Saved. God, I'm just not getting any good luck here. All right, back to Barty Horn. Let's see if we can get someone out of the fight here. Pay attention. 60. 60. Thirty-six. Sixty. There we go, finally! <laughs> <laughs> Down you go! That's making it a little easier. Alright, too bad that this guy's dead. Not enough movement. Okay, could I knock him into that crack? That's a bit much. That's a big area of effect.
High defense. <laughs> hey, it actually worked, but I couldn't uh, knock him over there. Right. Oh my god, this laughter. This laughter is just driving me crazy. Oh, part of me regrets using this spell. All right, 15 health left. Potentially could da could kill. Potentially could kill. 12%. And saved again, dear God. Just, ugh. Okay, well, at least I'm getting lucky now. Miss, miss, miss. Uh, it's getting kind of crowded over here, but I can attack. All right, I can I can reach. Still 50%. Also 50%. Crying out loud. Oh, yeah! Okay. All right, six to sixteen. Alright, making good progress here. <laughs> right, how much life left on that guy? 42 left. That's going to get him. Oh my god, what? Oh, I just got the stupid... It was in the way. I didn't see that he was in the way. I just killed the deep... Oh my god. Doggone it! On my way. What's the plan? Miss.
Oh, I can't believe I accidentally killed it! <laughs> he was just in the way! I didn't think it would do that! I thought it would go over, not through! Ah, oh, So annoying. Oh, okay, this is the one that knocks it back. Oh, wow. These boots have seen everything. That would have worked wonders. Not enough movement. Fuck yes. Why did it not work? Oh well. <laughs> Boom! Oh, I feel awful. Novice of the absolute. Fish, gold, uh, poison. Javelin, Warhammer, Blue Cap. How much farther can I go? A whipping cane, yikes. Scale mail, wooden shield, all right, lots of stuff to sell. Adamantine slag. Use for this slag. Nice speckles though. Right. How to get rid of this cave-in. It's sturdy. What spell could I cast to destroy this? Thunder wave? Boom only, says W.A. I see. So an explosive. Resistances to fire. Fire damage against this entity is nullified. Slashing, piercing, acid, necrotic, fire, lightning, Cold, psychic, poison, radiant. So no spells will work. Slashing will not work. Piercing is resistant, so blunt is the only thing that would work. This does thunder damage. 
He's not immune. It's not immune to thunder damage. It's immune to fire. Could I attack it with a big hammer? Well, I'll tell you what. I want to get my characters out of the way so I don't accidentally blow them over the precipice. <laughs> Let's move Gale way over there. Hmm. Let's move Shadowheart way no over there. Oh, crap. Let's break... Uh, Attention! Yes, it shall be done. What to do? Breathe deep and move. Okay, that worked, but it's going to take a lot. I'm using all my spells, though, for this. Zero. It's resistant to piercing. Nice. Eight left. Ooh. All right. Press J to view. That updates the quest. Uh. Which quest is it? <laughs> Jeez. I don't even know which quest it is. Travel through the mountain pass? No, travel through the underdark. All right, I'm gonna do a hard save here. It's the Adamantine Forge. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna do a hard save here because, let's group everyone together again. Uh, I've got a bunch of, I'm encumbered and I need to sell some stuff. So let's put a couple of things over here. The past is nearer than we think. We simply must dig. Let's trade. Well, let's see what you've got. Let's get through all this crap. Shrouded in shadow. God. Let's do by weight. All right, everything else is pretty light. One to 17. Would that be good for Carlac? It would probably be good for Carlac. Which way to the nearest library? Scale mail, I can sell that. 
These are magic items I want to keep for him. Sorrow. That's only 1 to 10. We can sell the light crossbow. Sell the sickle. Sell the leather helmet. What am I to do? This is a really interesting um, ability, though. One to four necrotic damage. Still, that's not enough for it to really be worth it. The Oak Father's Embrace. Medium, medium, medium. Currently wearing 15. It's 13. Barbarian clothes. That's Carlax armor. I want to save that, right? A shattered flail. Eh. Lizelle's clothes. I should probably save that. Don't need the torch. A void bulb? Carlax boots. Leather boots. I should save that. That's Carlax. Alright, she just has a regular light crossbow equipped. That's a heavy crossbow. 2 to 11 damage. But I don't know if I have proficiency with that weapon. If Yankee boots, I should save that. Ritual staff? <clears throat> nope, I can sell that. I can sell that. Cool hat, but don't need it. I'll save it because it's cool. Ring of Color Spray. Huh. That's all then. All right, let's see. Wanna dance? She has Ring of Color Spray. Let's go ahead and put that there. He's got a really cool axe on his inventory. Let's give that to her. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Nope. Uh, yeah, okay. 5 to 21 damage. Is she proficient in that? Yeah, look at that. Deals 1d6 fire damage conditional. Oh, but only to plants, insects, and small creatures. Still, 5 to 21 damage compared to uh, 6 to 16 damage. Nice. And that was 4 to 13. That's a helmet which grants plus 1 to nature, but it's got no other abilities. No other stats. That's athletics plus one. She currently has... Uh, ah, I see. Click heals. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Wait, now, she also had a Let's heavy crossbow. Here. Let's see, that's 2 to 11 damage. That's... 3 to 10 damage. Uh-huh. Yeah, she can she can use it. So it unlocks a, a, another uh, profici proficiency ability. So I'll keep that, which means I can sell that. Wits and blades always shop. I need to store these things. Can I uh, send to camp? 
send to camp send to camp and then I've got a bunch of legendary stuff that I don't need but I'm saving it because Gale's gonna consume it but I'd hate to sell it uh, and then need it for Gale making me sweat send to camp lovely day this for now At least things have stayed interesting. All right, let's see if I can find type food. Food, 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 food. I gotta send all my food to camp as well, so I'm not carrying it. A cage key. What was that for? I forget. All right, that's all the food I have, huh? Okay, now before we go through the I'm cave, then probably in my staff. By whoever those skeletons were, the others found. There is this. Harper rune. This is the treasure left out in plain sight, but what happens? Okay. Cat5 says Gale only eats three items. You can send them away now. Oh, okay. It does feel like a trap. I suppose all the bones everywhere should be hinting me into that. I did just quick save. Uh, let's uh, try Don't be shy. Saddle up. Uh oh. Still breathing, despite everything. Swift as my feet can carry me. Uh-oh. Crap! I didn't touch it! No! No! <laughs> what of these? Oh, no! I didn't touch it! I just got killed! Oh, they're all... Oh, shoot! Oh, no. They're all bad. I just triggered them all. This is just the worst. All right, 58. Color spray. Blind creatures up to a combined 33 hit points. What does that mean? Blind creatures up to 33 hit points? Uh, 
Uh, radiant damage possibly marks your target with light, preventing it from turning invisible. Lasts 10 turns. 6 to 27 damage. 4 to 15 damage. 6 to 27 damage. There we go. Do additional fire damage. Yeah. Nice. But he's saved on the tadpole charm. Can they move? They can. No! A pseudopod lash! Oh! No! My wizard! Oh, he can move right out. Gonna have to call in the big guns here. Hurls three rays of fire. Each ray deals two to twelve damage. Uh, hmm. Why can't I do that one? I guess I used my level three spell slot. All right. So would it be better to move down here and get behind it? I can't. That'll get both of them. Did it, did both of them save? No, that one saved. All right, I'm gonna get back out of here. Are you please, Mistra? Let's end this. Right. Lore Revolution says, for example, one creature with 33 HP, or three key creatures each with 11 HP for color spray. Oh, is that how it works? Oh, I see. Okay. I could cast Fear. Mirror Image, interesting. Bestow Curse. Charm Person. And... All right, this, hmm. On I go. No, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Resistances to acid. Great. But it's acid, the one thing that I can do, and it's a resistance to it. 30, 36, 25. <laughs> Did that not finish it off? Almost. Uh, Don Magix says, Hey, Ox, I didn't know that you were streaming this game until now, but can you help me catch up? Last thing I remember, you saved a dwarf from mushrooms. Uh, yeah, so that was two broadcasts ago. Last week, I broadcast uh, this game again. 
And uh, we we moved from that area, the Underdark, to this dwarf encampment. Uh, we we're looking for a forge, and we found the entrance to the forge, but then we stumbled upon these guys. Fourteen left. Mm. Down it goes. All right. See if I can finish this one, this one off. And there we go. Karlak in, just tearing him up. Where do I see my rage charge? Oh, there it is. No, that's fleet combat. There, rage charge. Replenishable resource, the number of times you can enter a rage. Rage ends early if you don't attack an enemy or if you take damage each turn. You can't cast or concentrate on spells while raging. All right, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Let's get into a better position for a future attack. Uh, so let's get down here. Under their noses. Oh, lucky. All right, Gale. Let's see if we can tear this scorching ray. 90%. Take it. 21 li life left. I'm ready. Okay. Thirty-six. Sixty. Independent. Only did six. Hmm. If I walk away, she gets he gets advantage. Or he attacked me, so guy up here. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so Gil bore the brunt of that. But we're all okay. We're all okay. Ooh, wondrous gloves. Rare item, Troubadour Wonder. 
Your armor class increases by one. In addition, if you have Bardic Inspiration, you gain one more use of it. Oh, that's perfect. That's, it's, that's like just for me. What do I currently have on? I've got Dro Leather Gloves, so useless. Perfect. Ooh, what's going on here? Let's just give these gloves to her, I guess, for now. Mace, I can sell it. What's that? Ooh, a toy chest. A hand axe, one to six item. Nah. Harper's stash. Okay, I just got a toy chest. Medium toughness, a tiny chest, perfect for tiny hands. Disarm it, add a bonus, guidance. No! Come on! Oh, critical failure. I've got one more inspirational roll again. What is with my dice today? Let's try again. What? What? What are the odds of that? I rolled a one twice in a row with all of those bonuses. Critical failure. How is that possible? Yeah. I swear, when they made this game, they've, they've got this line of code in there somewhere that says, oh, and if Oxhorn plays this game, he always has bad dice. His dice are cursed. I'm telling you, that's in the code. I got it, my entire team. <laughs> took damage. Oh, all right, whatever. Let's lockpick it. Oh, are you going to give me another one? A six? I mean, that doesn't help either. Try again. Yeah, almost! God, I'm, I have to roll like a 16 or above. Nope. Gonna go through all my, th oh, finally, finally. Critical success, it took me like five times. I used four thieves tools to get through it. Steel 101 says, I'm not superstitious, but wow, Ox, a one roll twice? Yeah, just don't talk to me about it. I don't want to know. What I get? A scroll of wall fire and scroll of evidence? A snug tube designed to protect its contents from uh, uh, the weather and time, I guess. 
That's it? The first few inches of this scroll are written in formal, elaborate script. To the Emerald Enclave and those deemed worthy to see this record, greetings from those who harp. Know ye that the one known as Kethric Thorm, Paladin of Shar, is guilty of crimes against body and spirit. They include but are not limited to murder, slavery, desecration of temples most holy. Let our intent be known, an alliance between the Harpers and the Emerald Enclave. United, we may end Thorm's reign of terror. The High Harpers eagerly await your good word. Ooh, I have a feeling that's important. Okay, now I also have this toy treasure chest. But I can't pick it from my inventory, can I? So what if I throw it down? Okay, I can pick it up, but I can't do anything else. I can't open it. That's weird. Time to press ahead. Okay, I should probably heal on up. Uh, let's see. What what options do I have? Song of Rest. You and your allies are revitalized as though you would have taken a short rest. Stop. Pushing on. Nice. Look at that. Okay, let's see. We've got help the spirit of the amulet find the lost amulet. Deliver Nier's head, kill Nier. Free the deep gnomes. That's leaving. And then up here, we've got the grim forge. But uh I think I think we do, but our quest log isn't is an updating. This is the rubble that we cleared. Okay, so I guess the big question is, do we go down here and do all of these side quests? Or do we, let's, let's go through the wall. Let's go through the wall. I wanna see what's over there. Let's sell all the stuff that we've got. The past is nearer than we think. 
We simply must dig. All right, Jackrabbit says, I'd highly recommend freeing the deep gnomes first, stocks. Okay, why? Um, well, let's see what you've got. I suppose I could do that. I mean, I did just blow down that wall. I'm really curious to see what's down there. All right, he's only got about 392 uh, left. We've got this toy chest. Let's go by weight again. All right, hand axe. One to six, we don't need it. We'll keep the shovel. Arrow. Arrow. I need to go and get rid of all these books. Shadow of Mesoberan. Shrouded in shadow. I, I feel like I should keep this for some reason. Wondrous gloves. Did I not put these on? Oh, I, I put on the gloves of uninhibited Kashigo. There we go. Right. Uh, anything else on his inventory? I've got tons of potions and stuff. God, look at all this crap. Amulet of the Unworthy grants resistance to slashing damage and vulnerability to bludgeoning damage. I currently have underwear? No, that's my underwear slot. <laughs> Necklace. Uh, level 3 Necromancy spell. Alright. Oh, I have the magic touch. He's got Saloon's Dream, an Plus evocation six. spell. Uh, healing Word. Mass Healing Word. That's the Amulet of Restoration. Well, well, well. Writhing Dance. When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. Interesting. All right, let's get rid of some of his junk. Padded Armor. Faith Breaker. Sorrow. Melf's First Staff. 1 to 8 damage. That's one to ten damage. I believe this is all the armor and stuff that he had on before. This isn't a staff though, that's a pole arm. But he can use it. Not proficient with medium armor. The speedy light feet. Let's give that to Karlak. See if she might need that. Did that not work? One to eight, zero to seven, zero to seven, three to ten. Two to five, Warf, Warfang. Insufficient gold. Oh, I've exhausted his gold. All right. A long way to go still. That's all then. Who's the statue you think? Human, certainly. A god, perhaps. Why would gnomes make such a thing? Okay, let's do a, a hard save here. Chat says I should free the gnomes first. There's the gnomes. There's kill Nair. If I kill Nair, I'm going to make everyone angry here. And I kind of want to avoid doing that so, uh, quite yet. But let's see if we what, what path is going to take us there. I guess we don't know. All right, so let's go back up here, and cross over the there, see if we can free the gnomes. 
Oh, the chiseling is remarkably intricate. They didn't live here, though. Steps are too big. I'm thinking. Potion of greater healing. Why is everyone uh, outlined now? Backpack, traveler's chest. I don't want to loot any of that just in case. Get in trouble. A mirror. I could interact with that, but it'll piss people off. Why? Do I need to rip the extra flesh off your ears? You pricks got some nerve. Clean up this mess. Near dies, heads roll. All right, well, those are the gnomes. Let's uh grab Gale. One with the weave. Right away. God, you'll damn it's good to be alive. Shh. I can't focus with you breathing so close. Can't reach destination. Okay, maybe that's not important because it's in a pile of rubble that I can't access. I have a lot on my mind. Um, well, in it, another step forward. Dollar. Unseen and unsightly. Looking ahead, these boots have seen everything. Okay, we got a path down here. Leading to Thud. Then a path up here leading to Drar. Let's talk to Drar, and then let's talk to Thud. And you better hope that's the worst. This ain't a show. Go make yourself useful or get lost. Himself trapped. Let him suffocate. If the absolute can't save him, a true soul trapped, eh? Don't want to draw any attention. If not over, then through. Uh oh. Okay, so these are the gnomes. Theft has been reported, and it seems you're the only suspect. How? Choose your next step wisely. How did they find out that I stole anything? Sorcerer's Magic with a super tip. Thank you so much, Sorcerer's Magic. I appreciate it. I don't understand. 627 gold? For Pete's sake. I'm going to have to attack him anyway. Rip off her head when you take her out. That's a lot of dwarves. That is a lot of dwarves. Another 
scrying eye. Same as the goblins have. Someone's watching. Flat to the wall. All right, I did a quick save beforehand. I'm gonna load the quick save just because I might have to end up fighting everybody, but I don't want it to be because of a stupid potion that I looted. Let's do my quick save. Oh wait, that was here. That was right after the chests. Okay, there's my auto save. Let's load that. No, I, I had I had stolen it by that point. It's not that one. We'll probably have to end up fighting them, but let's see if we can talk our way through this. Right, this was just after emptying our inventory, right? I'm not gonna sell again, do I? Oh, the chiseling is remarkably intricate. They didn't live here, the steps are too big. The inhabitants were drowned. Doc's plaque. Come into her shadow. Let all that is past be forgotten. Well, I wonder why everyone is highlighted now. I don't recall making that option. All right, so there's something over there. That leads there. Let's do the full loop. Another potion of greater healing. I don't, it's so stupid. There was no one there. No one saw me steal it. But they noticed that it was missing. And I was the only suspect. See how the little pricks do when we strap fire to their legs. <laughs> Charming. Hell is truly where we make it. Move, Hoon. I don't have time for drug and outsiders. Ah. Uh... Bare feet, I see. I nabbed these boots from a runaway gnome. Yours, perhaps? I don't know. Which boots are those? Sorcerer's Magic says, Ox, read the message I posted in my last super chat. Uh... I see a super tip from you, but I don't see another super chat. I see a message from you below that. Uh, Sorcerer's Magic says below that, Ox, maybe you should do some shorts on Fallout 4 while you finish new games. You are a pillar in the Fallout community. I don't want you to lose viewers to new creators that are still airing Fallout content. Uh, Sorcerer, I, <laughs> I actually published a Fallout short today. 
Uh, so, not sure how you missed that, but I continue to publish Fallout shorts uh, throughout the week, periodically, in addition to other content. Um, that's not really my concern. Uh, my concern is covering games that I'm interested in at the time uh, and producing content that I want to produce. Let's see what happens if we do the fair, bare feet option. Never thought I'd see these back. Nasty sneak gave even Gek the slip. Wow. Oh, crafty little shits, these ones. You need a stiff cane to keep them in line. Here then, his bounty's yours. Now move. I've got no time for the parasite stirs, but it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories, just an echo of scars that never healed. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed, trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. It's both our heads. What is it with these people and heads? Let's get in his and get out. Goodness. Okay. How did Nier get trapped? Place is older than bone dust. Previous tenants left a trap. Dropped a shit ton of metal once we dug a ways in. Get Nier out and you'll have the Absolute's blessing. No doubting that. Hmm, what are you hoping to find at this dig? Entrance to an ancient temple. General's orders, Nier said. Must contain something important. He got me to recruit non-believers. But not everyone's seeing the Absolute's truth. They don't get paid soon. I'll have a riot on my hands. Clearing that rubble will be no easy feat. Any ideas? Not a one. Unless you count tacking Abolith fangs to my whipping cane. Hmm. I've got some explosive powder. That should do the trick. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. Reward! Find the missing boots. We gave mess. the boots to Sergeant Thrin and were rewarded. Choose reward, armor of in uninhibited Kashigo, or bracing band. While patient defense is active, the wearer can use their reaction to make an unarmed strike. After showing shoving an enemy, the wearer gains a plus one to their armor class until the next turn. All right, let's try that. speaking soft whispers, the words all but lost in the hot air. We can pass a perception check to eavesdrop on the conversation. Success. I'll never get through. We need that smoke powder. Philomene's gone, and if she's smart, she won't be coming back. Tell the sergeant where she went. Beltron's still trapped with that maniac near. Forget the smoke powder. They kill Phil on the spot. I won't let you do it. We could pass an intimidation check to say you mentioned smoke, po smoke powder. Details now. A persuasion check to say, listen, I can help you act frightened or you'll draw sus a suspicion. We can say, uh, I'm a friend. Thula sent me. Glittering gods. She actually survived. Praise Iron Hand. Lerida, our prayers are answered. Sir, our friends are trapped in the cave-in. And I know a way to get them out. Bug, please. Truce or near will... You know what he'll do. Hmm... That sounds like quite the drama. I can't wait to watch or leave the true soul to me. Now tell me what you know. Or a terrible situation. I'm sure you'll pay handsomely if I help. 
Let's try leave the true soul to me. Young fuck, don't! I... I've got no choice, Larida. We have to chance it. A few days back, there was a... a scene. Our friend Philomene, she's a sapper, set off a blast and ran off. We set a spot for hiding if someone found trouble. I'll mark your map. If Philomene made it, you'll find her there. She'll have the stuff to blow that tunnel wide open and get Veldron and the rest out. I have some explosive powder. I can use it to get them out. Incredible news. Drop it near the cave-in and set it alight. Well, uh, all right, but what happens to all of these gnomes? I need you guys to... the rubble, a fragmented voice clutches at your mind. True soul! True soul! Finally, you must clear rubble, filling poison! Are you near? What happened here? Expedition! Passage trapped! The gnomes are useless. Don't trust Burks. Get me out! Don't trust Merc. You threw Nir's eyes as a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. Hmm. We can pass a perception check to try to focus. What more can we see? Gotta pass a 10. Out of 12. The blur resolves into an image. Two gnomes feverishly removing debris. While two others lie dead at Nia's feet. Their flesh scorched by powerful magic. You sense Nia's frustration, tinged with rage as the connection fades. Laura says, uh, the button that highlights and de-highlights characters is the Grav button. Oh. Thank you, Laura. Choking! Dig out of here! He sends Nia's frustration. Okay, so we've got explosive powder. Uh, I don't- I don't want to hurt the gnomes, though. Right? If I ignite it, I'm going to hurt all the gnomes. Oh god, where's the explosive powder? There is smoke powder satchel. Smoke powder satchel, is that it? Explodes when ignited, damaging everything in the vicinity. Damaging everything in the vicinity. You stop digging again, and I'll bleed you dry! Well, uh, okay, uh... Get 
taken it'll blow. There we go. Blast the to bits. Okay, how do what I do a flaming? has been my ruin. Nick does not fail. Oh no! <laughs> we could say, finish the slaves, true soul, for the absolute, or stop, no more innocents will die today, near. You care for the weak, true soul. Most curious. You can see I came on the Myconid Sovereign's behalf. It demands revenge, or I act on orders of the Absolute. Or of course I care, I can't let these gnomes suffer, or this isn't about them. I just can't stand your face. Let's try the My Myconid Sovereign's behalf. You heed an overgrown toadstool, yet defy a true soul. Thrym. Carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save him. Uh, <laughs> we can pass a bard check to say, in your eulogy, I'm going to call you a... Can I say this? I'm not Australian enough to say this. I'm not allowed. We could say, you wouldn't dare, I'm faithful to the Absolute, or you so much as touch me and I'll tear you limb for limb. Let's try the Bard one. Insufferable, insolent scum. I'm going to enjoy this. Dwega, this true soul has betrayed us. Let his blood prove your devotion. Oh, dear Lord. And I think this is worse than before when we got caught. Okay, we've got Apprentice Gnome. That's Sergeant Thrin. Another Apprentice Gnome. There's Nair all the way over there. I'm surrounded by this guy right here, Elder Brithfar. Oh dear God, Thud, Stone Guard, Mind Master, dear Lord. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really, really bad. Dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. Dear God. Wow. 
Well, can't use any of my spells. Can't cast spells with the equipped boots? What? It's the boots? Oh, for Pete's sake. Where'd my mage armor go? This is bad. Calling reinforcements, like I'm already surrounded by. This is, there's no way I'm gonna win this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the guy's up there. How did I get in this mess? I am just not doing enough damage. Oh my god. That was a huge explosion. All right, this is a, this is a losing cause. Let's load game. <laughs> All 
Okay. Um. <clears throat> so by blowing that uh, that down, Nair just came out and and kills a gnome, and then attacks. So, what's what's the point to that? I guess I need to just clear the battlefield a bit. And I can't help the gnomes. Okay, let's see. Very well. First a heat up! Charming. Move, Hoon! I don't never thought I'd... Here then, now move. The parasite step. A truce. I'm glad you're... He's stuck in there. What is it with these people and heads? Let's get near and get out. Place is older than bone dust. Get near out, and you'll have the absolute's blessing. No doubting that. Entrance to an ancient. He got me to rook. They don't get paid soon. I'll have a riot on my hands. Not a one. Unless you count tacking abolith fangs to my whipping cane. Thought you would. True souls don't abandon their own. All right, so we'll get a bracing band. I'll peel your balls like potatoes if you don't move. Pavel you says, talk around. Make some allies before talking to Nier. Yeah, um, it's a good idea. Bugger off. You're distracting the slaves. They run. You're dead. Ah, oh, it's you. The mascot of my ill fortunes. Much as I'd love to chat, I'm not allowed social breaks. Well, it looks like, uh... Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> How'd you get captured? I came down here looking for Wolbrin. I suspected he and his little friends might have come to this region. And I was right. But, I was too late. Walbrin had already been taken to Moonrise Towers. The rest, put to work. You won't find a worse gaggle of rare do wells than these Iron Hand gnomes. Except for Walbrin, desperate though his taste in companions might be. As I was contemplating his folly, I was spotted by a very ugly Dwergar. Now, I dig. It isn't good. Well, what's the next part of your plan? Dig. And hope for an opportunity to escape. You could just ask for my help. These brutes are no mere goblins. I doubt you could take them on. That sounds like a challenge. I'll take care of your captors and I'll get you out of here. You will. If you are successful, that would be most convenient. Okay. <gasps> My sister's in there! Myrna! Myrna, can you hear me? Speak in soft whispers, the words all but lost in the hot air. I'll never get through. We need that smoke powder. Finamine's gone, and if she's smart, she won't be coming back. Tell the sergeant where she went. Beltran's still trapped with that maniac near. Forget the smoke powder. They kill Phil on the spot. I won't let you do it. All right, let's see. Glittering gods. She actually survived. Praise Iron Hand. Sir, our friends are trapped. Bug, please. Truce or near will... You know what he'll do. Young Bug, don't... I've... I've got no... A few days back, there was a... A scene. We set a spot for hiding if someone found trouble. If Philemon made it, you'll find her there. She'll have the stuff to blow that tunnel wide open and get Beldron and the rest out. 
Okay, maybe I need to go find her, and she'll have some additional help for the fight that will ensue. I'll do what I can. Please, please don't hurt my Phil. I beg you. Hurry. Our people won't last in that cave-in forever. All right, do I really have to hurry? Or, uh, can I take my time? The slowest of you lot is getting tossed to a rope bay in... Okay, let's see. Help the spirit of the amulet. Find the lost amulet. Kill Nier. Clear the cave-in. Free the deep gnomes. Well, she said she would mark it on my map. Oh, there. Find the explosives. Go to the deep gnomes hiding spot. Okay. Well, that gives us something to do before this inevitable huge fight. wonder what's on that skeleton. Defaced statue of Shar. Looks like someone's not a fan of Shar. Smeared the absolute symbol all over her. Slaver's inventory, chopped up pig. Saw you arriving. Almost put a hole in your boat. Don't make me wish I had. An outsider. Just what we needed. getting himself trapped. Let him suffocate. If the Absolute can't save him. Right. Three names found the trace. Found a way past the rock fall is my guess. Scarge, you're still at it then. Prick ain't stopped caning those beasts last I saw, and he still ain't broke through. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nia's debt off him? Uh, let's see. We could say, don't be absurd. I hate these true soul cultists. Yet you got that twat soul stench. If I didn't know better, I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. Um... We could say... A stench? Ridiculous! I'm no more a true soul than you are. The shiver returns. This time it's colder. Sharper. The stench don't lie. You're one of them. Okay, well... We could try to detect thoughts. Oh my god, a two! For Pete's sake! Failure. I feel you poking around, and I'll have your head for it. Great! Another battle! Is 
Just backed him into the corner. Great. Wow, that was uh, surprisingly successful. Ooh, invisibility. All right. Okay, well, we'll keep him here for now. Let's finish this. Now, don't I have a detect invisibility spell? Um, disguise self. Ooh, these guys are just walking by. You better hope that's the worst. No, I don't see anything. You stop Okay, well we're making progress here. On I go. No. Revify, protection from energy. Hmm. Yikes. That is rough. Okay, got him. But the other one disappeared. We don't know where they are. Over here. So
wait. Miss again. What should I do? I got to be careful because we got guys walking around in this battle, <laughs> and I don't want to get them. That. Bardy Horn is looking pretty rough here. is my happy place. Soldier. Disadvantage, really? Can't get there. No, might as well just walk. God. Was that? That targets everything in the area. Got to be careful with that. I'm going to wait for this big eyeball to get out of the way. Out loud. Take two. Fifty-five. There we go. Okay. Well, that's what I get for just talking to some guys. Saluna did call forth the moon and the stars. Shah cloaked them in shadow to, in to cover day, our think. scars.
Deep Delver. Is that a scythe? Only does uh, zero to seven damage, though. Elder's Journal. The clan's gone soft. Maybe even me. No way around it. I spent ten tides of the Dark Lake with my head bowed in to the exile. I spent twenty tides with pick and shovel in hand mining for steel in Dune Sparin. And for seven tides I stood motionless between the block stones till Thuldor's released me. I was forged in Ladugur's fires. I learned to toil without complaint, to expect no reward without effort. Ladugur is the taskmaster. Master. We are his workers. This is our way. Fifty wet seasons have passed since the Thuldors refused to admit me. For forty of them, Thryn would have lifted mountains herself if Ladugur willed it. Now she canes slaves at the behest of this drow and his so-called absolute. Magmar will drown in that ale of his if the night terrors don't claim him first. And me? I'll toil for the exile. But till I see a mountain of coin, I won't lift a damned finger for Thryn or that crappy near she's been fawning over. Right. There's a gilded chest over here, as well as a plaque. I wonder if we can get it. It's a bit of a jump, but I bet you Carlac could do it. Hey ho, marching. In the beginning came morning, then night. Two sisters clashed, one dark and one light. Let's see, we need to get all the way over there. Uh, there's the rest of my party. I could probably jump up there, but I don't know if the rest of my crew could jump over there. That's the problem. Well, let's see what happens. So she can't. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. No, my God. Oh, she can. Need to keep going. There we go. Map of Moonhaven. This war map offers a detailed plan to attack the village of Moonhaven, encouraging soldiers to kill in merciless silence. No time to rest. And another mirror.
what path lies before me. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, we have this way. And we have that staircase. Dormitory plaque. Come, all who are weary. Sleep and forget. All right, we've got some double iron doors here. Locked. Uh, lock pick. Gonna need a 12 for that. Let's try it. Failure, let's try again. Wow! Wow! I'm just getting lots of double rolls today. One after one, five after five. Try again. Finally. Okay, let's see. There's a ladder there. Well, all right, we picked it. Let's open it. Interesting. All right, but before we go in there, let's see what's up here. Go down there. Could go over here. That's a bit far to jump. There's a trap. Ooh, we got a trap. A blast mine. Let's disarm it. Need a ten. God. There was another one. <laughs> what a charmer. Hong Kong. No, even she can't make this jump. All right. I've got a long road ahead. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Something bloody happened here. I see tracks there, or footprints. That's worth a look. What happened here? It's hard to make any sense of this mess.
What? Did I leave her behind? Crap! Did she not follow? Oh my god. What are you doing over here? You could have jumped that, Shadowheart. Onward in her name. Ah! <laughs> Everyone's coming down. See what we have here. Something happened here. But what? Something happened here. Hmm. But what? So I can't get each character had to have their own moment. try at it. Best be on my way. Okay, well this is a dead end. Like uh Yeah, this is a dead end. What happened here? It's hard to make any sense of this mess. Broken shackles. What happened here? It's hard to make any sense. Well, I guess of we'll mess. never know because I passed or, or I failed a, per a perception check. So, oh well. Well, let's go through the door then. Got lots of skeletons all over the place. Candle. Hey, Harper Key. An ancient key found on the body of a Shar wor worshiper. Yes. Undelivered letter. Master Kethrick, my whip has finally coaxed some particulars from the captive Harper. To wit, she revealed the location of her stockpile on a rocky overlook. I investigated, but found the chest in question is trapped. Any attempt to open it might break its contents completely. The spy refuses to reveal how to open the chest, even under threat of death, only crying, Lux Splenda! with every lash. Some type of watchword, no doubt, the interrogation continues, and again, please accept my most humble apologies for my earlier oversights. Rest assured, I will not misidentify any more of my fellow Sharans as spies. May they walk forever in shadow, Justicar Sybil. Watchword. Looks splendor. But what does it mean? I mean, it's Latin for splendid light or something like that. Scroll of haste, scroll of uh, enfeeblement, scroll of conjure minor something or other. Well, I keep on failing all of these persuasion checks. Roll of Sleet Storm. All right. 
getting all sorts of scrolls. Well, this is a dead end. Let's go up the stairs then. Alright, looks like I've got a little bit of buffering. Give me just a second. Should clear up here in just a bit. Bulb says, what's the guy in the cupboard doing? There we go. We just cleared that up. I don't know. He's just lying there dead. We checked his body. We didn't see anything on it. What's this guy doing? Let's see. Bones. Canticles of the Dark Mistress. Let shadow fall where the light doth creep, and silence cloak the din. Let blackness into lost hearts seep, and bid our lady in. Behold Shar who shades our path. Behold Shar from Auborn. Behold Shar the primal dark, our goddess of night. Behold. <clears throat> We've got another locked door. Weapon rack with rusty weapons on it. Anything interesting? These are Sharon weapons. I would recognize the Night Singer's blades anywhere. Tarnished silver key! Right. Hanging on a skeleton. Shield mold can be used to shape a unique piece of equipment. Okay. Mm. A steel mold. Used in forges to cast armor and weapons. I just opened the door and started a battle with Merrigan Legionnaire. What? No. Okay. Uh, sure, 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 sure. Well, bad. This is bad. This is very bad. Damaging fiends and undead. Let me move back. K 
can't target stuff. All right, so we'll start with Gale. Bardic inspiration, intern. Allow me to demonstrate. <clears throat> right. Um. Still don't have mage armor. I'm gonna back up and let them come to me. Certainly. Okay. I think he just killed Barty Horn here. Dear Lord, where's Barty Horn? Where'd he go? Did he get knocked all the way down over here? Where is he? He's got one HP left, wherever he is. Right, uh, let's see. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh yeah. Got focus. Thirty six per cent on the sacred flame. Uh, let's see. Try it. Twelve. Target is out of sight. He was right there. Where did he go? Where did Barty Horn go? <laughs> Where is he? Save that. I got two of them. Oh, dear God. I got knocked down a floor. I got knocked down into this locked room. I think it's a glitch. I think I got knocked into a locked room that was directly beneath us. <laughs> How is this possible? Oh my God, this game. I mean, I'm in a locked room. I can't, I can't go anywhere. I'm directly beneath. Like, there's the battle right there. I got. Oh my god, that's so bizarre.
Okay, well, um, what can I do here? I can't do much. Uh... The last board is set. Yeah, it's a glitch. This is a locked room beneath here, and I got knocked down into it. Okay. Critical miss, but I think I just killed two of them. Dead. Now three health left. And dead. How am I covered in fire? How did I get covered in fire? Oh, I got, did I get too close to Karlak? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, well we did it. Uh, but now lost in thought. Ah! Onward. Now he's on fire. Dear God, right. Um I wonder what the next move is. Take you. So I can't group them together because Barty Horn is too far away. He's locked. Uh, okay. Well, I can because he can't get there. Got to keep moving. Still alive. So that's progress. What did you, what did you find? What did he find down here? No rest for the wicked, I see. This way. Okay. Oh, well, we should loot. We should loot, right. Merrigan Halberd. Devil Foil Mask. Interesting. What a curious mask. Wait. What it... This is a Merrigan's mask. Warriors of the Nine Hells. Journal updated. Uh, reach the ancient temple. We learned that the Grim Forge leads to an ancient temple. Perhaps the truth of what happened to the Dark Justicars can be discovered there. Well, I mean, I think that's where we're at right now, right? OK, 
Okay, well, what do I do with the mask? I guess I don't know. I probably use it in a puzzle or something. Okra jelly. Slime. Ring. Another devil foil mask. Another mask. The Maragorn's mask, no less. Those infernal soldiers only fight with the commander at their side. And I don't see one here. An opulent chest. Fire Stoker, burned alive, deals an additional one to four points of damage to burning targets. Oil of Accuracy, Elixir of Barkskin, and the Elixir of Euroism. Canticles of the Mistress. Whoops, I'm... S Did we read that? <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> we did. Okay, so I think that's it for up here. We got the key. We entered the room. This is all collapsed. We found the mold. We've got a bunch of Shar beds. And Barty Horn has dropped into a chamber below. So, I need to figure out a way to get him out of there and back up. Uh, J7 says, be sure to use the Speak With Animal spell whenever you see a cat. You won't regret it. Also, give your cat a goodnight kiss from me. Thanks. Thank you, J7. Will do. All right, well, Barty Horn. Let's get going. Stuck in here for a glitch. Let's figure out how to get you out of here. Can't slow down. Button. What else is in this room? The cauldron is on fire. We've got a lot of burning slag down here. If I stand on the water? Pitted key. away before killing another. All for Shah. Okay, the pitted key got me out. There are a bunch of dead gnomes here. You got a brain of your own. Use it. What? Why did he just kick a deep dead gnome? Gnome. Oh, there's our ship. We're on the other side. Okay. Well, I know where I am now. I have no idea why he's kicking bodies of these deep dead gnomes. Uh... Will this tunnel over here get us back to where we needed to go?
Is this where I need to be? Is this... Okay, let's see what was down the other path first. Oh, it leads to a dead end. Okra jelly. Just run, says chat. Yeah. question is, do I run down or do I run up? Oh, there's more okra jellies here. I think I run down. Chasing me. Man. The same. I say you're scamming the lot of us. So walking through water, my movement speed is hindered, but is theirs? And each time I do, it provokes an attack of opportunity because they get close to me. Crap.
Oh, jeez. Not enough movement. Double movement cost. Well, uh, hmm. <laughs> Scroll of haste. Say you're scamming the lot of them. Oh, he's going back. No, he's going another way. Well, they can't get to me now. Flee combat. You can flee combat and go to camp if you are far enough away from your enemies. Enemies too close. Or my enemies are too close. If I can get to a ladder, they won't be able to follow me. They can't climb ladders, I don't think. There was that one ladder upstairs. I'm trying to figure out how to get there. Oh, that's going to lead to a locked gate. Ah. There's, is that a ladder? No. Bunch of spiders over there, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess we gotta go up here? Yeah, looks like we gotta go there. Well. Okay, I mean, I'm making progress. I'm getting farther away from them than they can get to me. That's good. Right, there's the ancient sigil. All right, we're back to where we started. Which means I could theoretically find a way back to my crew. If I remember how to get there. I believe it was over here. And then we jumped over there, right? Yeah. Yay for haste. This guy is stuck in that room. I wish these could aggro on the dwarves. <laughs> these dwarves are just walking by seeing these huge slimes just going everywhere. All right, let's, uh... Yay! 
yeah! Can they jump? I don't think they can jump. And then we need to go up there. Okay. Okay, can I disengage? Yes. Yes. Oh, wait. This is gonna send me back to camp. I don't wanna go back to camp. Not until I'm with all of my crew. Uh, all right, we went up, did we go up there? Which way did we go? We went across here. And then through there, okay. Once I'm back to my crew, Your party can also move freely, and party will stay frozen in combat. Really? Oh. I must keep going. Well, this is the place we need to be exploring for her personal quest, but I feel like we're either missing something or we haven't found something really important to trigger it. Okay, well, we're back with the crew. So do we wait for them to come? Ooh, what is this? This looks like a huge coffin of some sort. And then there's this big path up there. I wonder if we can walk on that. There's a lot to explore here. Try to flee now, says the chat. I, I, I can, but it sends me back to camp. Never a dull moment. Well, here we are. I don't want to use my resources for a long rest, though. Um, I could probably do for a short rest, though, right? Now fast travel to the Grim Forge, says Eco Thunderbolt. Short rest, long rest, leave camp and return to your adventure. Let's do that. Okay, we're all back together. Let's do a short rest, because everyone's hurt. Oh, a little respite does wonders. Okay, and then there was one thing up here that we nice. didn't explore down this pathway, and that was this. Oh, okay, we got some levers. Another scimitar mold. Hey. 
Well, once we find the forge, we're going to be able to mold all sorts of stuff. Looks like there's a mold over there. A splint mold. How do we get over there? Okay, let's do a quick save here before we push a lever. Okay, so this is hovering right above the door where Naren or whatever his name is was trapped. Keep crying for your sister, and I'll personally rip up her head. So how would we get over there? Um, there's another one way down there. Well, um, maybe I should leave a character here so that they can operate the levers. But I don't know how to get up there. Why am I walking? Am I encumbered? I shouldn't be. No, not yet. Am I? Maybe I am. Yeah, I was. You can shoot levers with attacks to activate them from range. Oh, that's great to hear. Thank you. Wait, why am I going back this way? I guess to see if there's a way to jump up there. That's still a bit far. Is there anything closer? No, that's where I need to go. I need to... I need to get... I can get to it from there. There's more levers right there. Oh, could I... Could I shoot the lever? You wouldn't survive a 10 day on your own. Let's see. Target is too far. Because that's the lever that activates this, which is going to bring it across. Target is too far. All right. Well, how do I get here? I'm not seeing 
This is all unfamiliar. Did we explore over here? We did! That's where we had that battle. Okay, so if that's... How do we get there? If we go back around there... Oh, we'd have to come down from there. Okay, so how do we get to that top side? Uh, is a door? Is that a door? And there's a ladder there. So... There! Okay, so if we can find a way to that ladder... Ah, uh, this place is a maze! We could get over there, and then activate the levers. I'll give you that. How do we get back down? Oh, right. This way. <clears throat> okay, this leads back to the room where we need to solve the gnome problem. I'm still having a very difficult time finding a way to get to the one that's got the explosive powder that I need. But, let's see if we can... Because we need to get up there somehow. And I bet you there's a ladder over here. That's where we fought the mimics. Okay, so there's the coffin. Is there a ladder that we can hop onto from over here? Okay, so there's the ladder that goes down. But I want to go up so that I can get to that. But I'm not saying what I want. Like, I want to be able to get to this platform here. And... So I can get over there, but there's just... Oh, what's that? Okay, so there's a ladder there. If I could come down from there. It's on the other side of a grate. How do I get there? Ah, and that's the limit of my movement. Okay, what's this? Harper's Stash. This is an area I've explored. Find explosives. So wait, did I find... I found the key to Harper's Stash. Did I miss Harper's Stash while I was over there? Okay, I'm now over here, and I'm just having a hell of a time trying to get to this... <laughs> to navigate this area. All right, I need to get over here for the... Explosives.
Okay, so this, I mean, I was, I was over there. I was trying to get over there. This is the door that I came out with all those blobs. I was way up there. How do I get way over there? I guess through there? Do we have to go up here and around? Oh, this place is a nightmare. Well, there was that wall that I destroyed. I could try going through there. Upper stash. History itself. This again. Yes, this again. Dead drow, publicly displayed. The Dwegar are sending a message. Okay, lots of little uh spiders. I wonder if I could talk to him. Do I still have animal I do? We haven't been here. Let's talk to them. Maybe we're going to get something. Don't like strangers here. But Absolute must have took you in. Who hung these drow out to dry? Me? Who else? My spiders sussed them out of hiding. Then near taught them a thing or two, and I let them fly. Where did the drow come from? Caught him sniffing around. Easy marks. Had the stench of the toplands. Hung them here as a warning. Ain't no one drugs with clan flame shade. Let's talk to the spiders. I speak true, brothers. You know it in your hearts. You know it in your very souls. We need no Lolf, no Spider Queen. Father Murmuth is the head of Clan Lur. He hatched us, raised us, feeds us. What care we for his business here? He keeps us small, keeps us contained. We should be with the Spider Queen, revered. Adored. Interesting. Okay, we can pass a religion check to recall our learnings about the spider, the spider queen Lolf. Oh my god! Nothing in particular comes to mind. Father Mermoth is our past. Lolf is our future. These spiders are loyal to the local Dwegar. In the event of a fight, they will join the fray against you with slavering enthusiasm. We could pass a deception check. Mermath, is that the guy who keeps telling everyone about his useless, hideous spiders? <laughs> we could pass a persuasion check to say, I think your sister is right. Among the Spider Queen's worshippers, you'll reach your true potential. Uh, this gives us a 3, 4, plus a d4. This gives us, ooh, a lot more. Twenty-seven! Oh, yeah. My bite could be stronger. My venom more devastating. Xanta, is it so? This, and so much more. In Lolt's hairy embrace, all is possible. Her embrace. We're ready. We follow. <laughs> yes. Now, brothers, our new dawn awaits. Yay! All right. Thinking snitch. 
No one drugs with Clan Flameshade! Alright, so the spiders will join us in combat now. Yay! And we got inspiration from uh, Shadowheart there. No, the spiders have left, says the chat. Oh, okay. So if we do get into trouble, we won't have to fight them. That's all we got out of that? Oh, man. Okay, um, well... I've got a minute left. That's really not enough time to do anything else. So I'm going to do a hard save here. How about a thank you? And there we go. Well, this has turned into quite an interesting place to explore. That that glitch that knocked me through the floor into the room below oh, almost messed up the entire thing. But we got through it. Thanks for joining me, everybody. We'll pick up next week with more Baldur's Gate. As for tomorrow during Scotch and Smoke Rings, I think I might do a Resident Evil 4 DLC, but I haven't made up my mind yet. Let me know in the chat below, or in the comments below, if you've got a preference. But until then, I am going to get to work on my lore videos for the weekend. Thanks to each and every one of you. Odd X says, not a glitch, by the way. How is that not a glitch? Did I get teleported to the room below? I don't understand how that wasn't a glitch. Anyway, uh, whether it was a glitch or not, we're still having a great time exploring this room, and we'll pick up here next week uh, with more Baldur's Gate. Hope to see you tomorrow for Scotch and Smoke Rings. Thanks to everyone for coming, and I'll see you soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now. Starting to Far as I know, still wrapped around me as echoes.